Welcome back. In this age of technology, more children than ever before are becoming glued to the screen. Parents, does this sound familiar to you? Well, a recent study finds that even when children are unplugged, they have difficulty focusing on just one task. Clinical psycholo psychologist Dr. Robert Reynolds of the Connecticut Educational Services in Middletown is here to talk about technology addiction among kids. First of all, how big of an issue is this? Well, it's becoming a, a bigger uh, issue as uh, every day passes. You know, it's a timely story that you're doing here because this is the summertime. And in the summertime, it becomes a bigger problem than at other times where children now have way more access to all of these technologies. And so rather than being outside playing like you and I might have when we were young, they're inside on these video games or plugged in or emailing or AIMing and constantly back and forth with their peers texting. It's like a nonstop technology flood. Clearly, health implications. We're talking about phones, iPads, uh, computers, you name it. What are some of the other implications for kids who just can't seem to step away from the screen, whatever form they're using it? One of the main areas I worry about, Jeff, is their social development. If they're in the house 8, 10 hours, 12 hours a day on these video games, playing these video games, what's happening to their inner skills, their interpersonal skills? What's going on there? These are the kinds of skills that they need if they're going to be successful adults, and they don't really learn them very much on these computer games. When they text, when they Facebook, they're relating to people in a way that we're not accustomed to, perhaps some of us who are a little older. No more face-to-face -face contact anymore. What does that do for socialization? Well, unfortunately, not a lot. Uh, some of these games do have some interactive value, but for the most part, it's a very uh, intense experience for them in the interaction with their brains, but not much in terms of with other people. And that's really what I see as the main problem here. Are, for, for parents, what are some signs that your kid may be just a little too hooked on this stuff? Well, first of all, the amount of time that they spent. Uh, what happens when you ask them to get off the video game? Sometimes that can precipitate major meltdowns. So these are the kinds of things that parents need to be very aware of. Uh, is their child lying about how much time they're spending? Are they sneaking onto the computer? Are they stealing money to buy computer games? Those are the kinds of things that ought to tell you, wait a minute now, maybe this is getting out of hand. I try to tell parents no more than an hour or two a day, especially in the summertime on these video games. Let them develop their other areas of their lives and not just their video game skills. It sounds like it also creates the negative behaviors that are sort of adjunct to this. It sort of creates other behaviors that parents don't want their kids to participate in. Well, yes, and also it creates other problems that we don't necessarily see. For example, I believe that the video game craze has actually worsened the kids who have attentional issues. Uh, I don't think it's any uh, coincidence that children being diagnosed with ADHD, for example, today is skyrocketing. And I think a lot of it has to do with how stimulating the environment has become especially with all of these technologies. If kids are constantly being uh, texting and constantly emailing and constantly playing these games, their brains never really have a chance to disengage, to be deeper thinkers, to get more involved in, in things to think about. They're too constantly being interrupted, and their brains are constantly telling them, better check my AIM, better check my tech, see what's come in. It's constant nonstop, so they don't really have a chance to think very clearly or very deeply about the quality or the content of their lives. Bottom line, it's not all bad, but something parents do need to watch out for. It is, and, and again, it's here to stay. It's not gonna go away, and children do need to become proficient, but parents need to regulate it better. All right, very good. Dr. Reynolds, thanks for joining us this morning. My Appreciate pleasure, it. Jeff. We'll see you soon. Uh, call 860-343-0222 for more information, or you can uh, visit our website. We're gonna be right back after a short break. Stay with us. Pizza, pasta, steak, and lobster. We're going